If I gave you Golden State or the field this year. Who would I take? Yeah. Oh, I'd take the field. Absolutely. Although I think, uh, you know, you, I know people are, are, are immediately from what I've heard already today, either on radio shows or TV shows or in, uh, online, I mean, the, the Warriors lost one game. They lost their opening game, and, and they did not play well, and it's going to take a while because guys defer, you know, and, and I think they have to figure it out because they have several players, excellent players, who handle the ball. And that I think that's what the problem is, who handles the ball. And Draymond Green was so uh, proficient at it last year. But you also have Curry, you have Clay Thompson, you have Andre Iguodala when he gets in there. Then you have you have Kevin Durant, too, who likes to bring the ball up. And, and I think they have to figure that out. I don't know if they can. And, and uh, the bench is not what it was a year ago, and I still think they need a rim protector, uh, oh, yeah. which can still happen. Um, they're, they're still a tremendous team, but if you take one team in the field, I think the odds are you take the field, particularly yeah. if Cleveland is part of that field. So uh, both both the Cavs and the Warriors, to me, are the major uh, favorites uh, I, I, you know, the Clippers, the, the window seems to be closing. I mean, they certainly have a, a good ball club. But San Antonio, to me, remains. Uh, they're so underrated. It's incredible. Uh, I, I mean, they have a shot. I mean, they, they have, uh, right now, I put them right, you know, right on that, that group of three with Cleveland and, and Golden State. And then injuries, you know, play its toll as you go down the stretch. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.